I poured this in my soil and mycorrhizal fungi exploded. Beneath the surface of every garden lies a hidden world that quietly determines whether plants merely survive or absolutely thrive. This unseen world belongs to mycorrhizal fungi, microscopic threads that weave through soil, attach themselves to plant roots, and create an underground superhighway for nutrients and water. When activated, these fungi transform ordinary soil into a living, breathing ecosystem where plants grow stronger, healthier, and more resilient. Many gardeners assume that boosting soil health requires expensive inoculants, chemical treatments, or endless inputs. But the truth is, most soils already contain dormant fungal spores waiting for the right trigger. I recently discovered that a simple, inexpensive mixture could awaken these hidden allies, and the results were nothing short of explosive. Plants grew with unmatched vigor, roots expanded far deeper, and even the soil structure itself began to change. Here is the full breakdown of what happened why it worked, and how you can replicate it in your own garden. To understand why this experiment worked so dramatically, it helps to appreciate just how powerful mycorrhizal fungi are. These fungi form a partnership with plants that has been evolving for more than 400 million years. They extend the root system through microscopic filaments called hyphae, and one teaspoon of healthy soil can contain miles of these threads. While roots alone can only draw from a limited zone, Fungi vastly expand the reach, pulling in water, phosphorus, potassium, and vital trace minerals that plants would otherwise never access. In return, plants send down sugars produced during photosynthesis to feed the fungi. This exchange creates a positive feedback loop. Plants feed fungi, fungi supply nutrients, and both thrive together. When these networks are fully active, plants need less fertilizer, tolerate drought better, and even share nutrients with neighboring plants through interconnected fungal webs. The problem is, modern gardening practices often break these partnerships before they can begin. Many garden soils today are hostile to fungi without anyone realizing it. Heavy tilling slices apart delicate fungal networks before they mature. Synthetic fertilizers encourage plants to absorb nutrients directly from soluble salts, bypassing fungi entirely. Pesticides and fungicides don't discriminate, wiping out beneficial microbes alongside harmful ones. Even in organic systems, leaving soil bare or disturbing it too often can prevent fungi from establishing. As a result, gardeners often notice poor fungal activity and assume their only option is to buy commercial inoculants. Yet in almost every soil, spores are already present. They simply remain dormant because they lack the fuel required to wake up and multiply. This is where the breakthrough comes in. So, the key was actually combining a simple sugar source with humic acid-rich compost extract. This pairing delivered both immediate energy and, you know, a supportive long-term habitat for fungi. Here's the exact formula that was used. One tablespoon of unsulfured molasses, diluted in one gallon of water, combined with one quart of compost extract. The molasses provided the carbohydrates fungi just cannot produce themselves. This quick energy surge primed the soil biology, waking up dormant spores and encouraging microbial activity that supported fungal growth. The compost extract supplied humic compounds, which bound nutrients, stabilized soil pH, and created these microsites where hyphae could anchor and expand. Applied as a soil drench around plants, this mixture basically acted like a switch. Within weeks, root examinations revealed dense fungal colonization far beyond the baseline, Earthworms began moving in greater numbers, and the soil itself started to soften and transform. The most convincing evidence of this fungal boom came from above ground. Tomato plants treated with the mixture developed thick, fibrous root systems that spread far beyond their planting holes. Corn grew taller and sturdier, showing fewer signs of nutrient stress, even though it received no fertilizer beyond the fungal food. Even berry bushes, which often struggle in compact soils, flushed with new vigor and honestly, healthier foliage. The results make perfect sense once you understand the biology. Hyphae can extend a plant's effective root zone by tenfold or more. This means nutrients locked deep in the soil, especially phosphorus and potassium, suddenly become available. In return, plants push more sugars back into the soil to feed fungi, strengthening the entire partnership in a cycle that just keeps building momentum. Beyond just plant growth, the soil itself, well, it actually went through some pretty visible structural improvements. In spots where we had compacted clay beds, the earth started crumbling more easily, striking a balance between holding onto water and, you know, letting more air flow through. 
Now in those sandy patches moisture stuck around longer between waterings. This shift, believe it or not, was all thanks to glomalin, a sticky protein that fungi secrete as they grow. Glomalin basically acts like glue, binding soil particles together into stable aggregates. These aggregates create pore spaces, which let roots breathe while also storing water for a slow steady release. Over time, this gluing effect actually builds a whole new soil architecture, one that resists erosion, drains away excess rain and supports long-term fertility. So what started as a simple pour of sugars and compost extract ended up, well, completely restructuring the soil environment. One unexpected outcome was the reduction of weeds and disease. Fungal-dominated soils naturally suppress annual weed species that, you know, prefer bacterial conditions. At the same time, beneficial fungi outcompete harmful ones, colonizing root zones before pathogens even have a chance to establish. Seedlings in the treated beds showed fewer cases of damping off, and common fungal leaf diseases, well, they appeared far less severe. This protection wasn't the result of a chemical spray. It came directly from shifting the soil biology in favor of allies instead of enemies. The best part of this discovery is its simplicity and affordability. A tablespoon of molasses diluted in a gallon of water paired with a quart of compost extract is enough to spark fungal activity without overwhelming the soil. This mixture can be applied every few weeks during the growing season or used at the start and end of each season as a soil building practice. Unlike fertilizers, which provide short-term bursts, this approach sets off long-lasting changes. Once the fungal networks establish, they continue working year after year, requiring no constant inputs. With each cycle, the soil grows richer, the microbial community more diverse, and the garden more resilient. Too often, gardeners think about what they can add from outside, fertilizers, sprays, amendments. But the real solution lies underground, already waiting to be activated. Mycorrhizal fungi are the hidden allies that connect roots, build soil structure, and fuel resilience. By giving them a sugar source and humic compounds, you wake them from dormancy and set them to work. What follows is a garden that almost seems to take care of itself. Healthier plants, higher yields, fewer weeds, and soil that improves instead of depletes. It all starts with a simple pour. If this guide has opened your eyes to the hidden power of fungi and the straightforward steps you can take to activate them, Make sure you subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share this with fellow gardeners. Together, we can unlock the living networks beneath our feet and grow gardens that thrive for generations.